A strong wind had been blowing all day. And at night, it grew worse still. The next morning, the fat controller was eating toast and marmalade for breakfast when his wife came in. Oh, Topham, dear, she sighed. There's been slates blown off the roof of the house in the night. I'll get someone to replace them, my dear, he promised. No use until this gale has died down, though. They'll blow off as fast as they're put on. At the shed, the engines had been teasing James. They were remembering the time he had been spun around and around on the turntable and had to wait for the wind to drop before he could be rescued. Be careful, James, chuckled Henry. Mind you don't go on any turntables today. James was indignant. Careful yourself, Henry. Make sure you don't stick in a tunnel when you need to take shelter. Henry didn't care a bit, and the engines laughed as they went to collect their trains at the station. Henry's first stop was at the station before the viaduct. Be careful, Henry, the station master warned him. The wind on the viaduct is very fierce today. But Henry was lucky. The wind dropped for a few moments at just the right time, and he brought his train safely over. The station beyond was in an exposed place too. Henry knew this, but was so pleased at crossing the viaduct that he forgot. Fancy worrying about a bit of wind, he said to himself. Now I've got no more stops until the workstation. That's one of the buffers for silly little James. As he rattled through the station, he saw something that made him whistle shrilly in horror. A few hundred yards in front, a tree was suddenly uprooted by the gale and crashed across the line. Ugh! groaned Henry, and his driver slammed the brakes on hard. Henry skidded along the rails, coming closer and closer to the tree. He shut his eyes and waited for the impact. Nothing happened. Henry slowly opened his eyes and looked again, to find he had stopped inches from the tree. Phew, he thought, and let off steam with relief as the guard came running to see what was the matter. Henry pushed the coaches back to the station. And when the passengers found out what had happened, they came to thank Henry for preventing a nasty accident. Well done, Henry, said James when he found out. Perhaps it's useful to be able to stick when you need to after all.